On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to the new payments agent. Hey, Pro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Grace for a look at the new agent. Grace, welcome. Hey, Jacqueline, I'm so happy to be here and talk about the payments agent. Let's go ahead and jump in. For the payments agent, what we know is that getting paid on time is one of the bigger challenges for small businesses, and that can have meaningful consequences to the cash flow. What that can look like today is that there's lots of different invoice and payment settings to get paid more quickly, but discovering them and setting them up effectively can be super manual and, and complex. For example, small businesses need to be aware that features exist that could help them, like automated invoice reminders. They then have to figure out how to set those features up effectively. And then finally, in some cases, they need to communicate those settings or policies with their customers. That's a lot of time and effort and can distract from running the core of the small business. And so with the payments agent, what we try to do is take on that burden and complexity for our customers. What we do to help there is to proactively identify when a setting like recurring payments could be right for a small business based on what we know about them and their customers. And then we help that small business actually set up that feature or setting for example, letting them enable a new payment method with just a single click. And then finally, if it's needed or relevant, we also help with communicating those policies to our small business owners, customers. And so all in all, the payments agent is really trying to help small businesses get paid more quickly with less work. And then just as a quick overview, the payments agent is available for small businesses using Essentials Plus Advanced and IAS. Accountants can also view the payments agent is primarily available in the invoice sales form as well as the business feed and it's been live in the US as recently as July 2025. Looking ahead, the payments agent team is exploring other ways to help small businesses get paid more quickly. In this video, we're going to see how the payments agent works together with the customer agent to turn early leads from Gmail conversations into estimates and those estimates are ready to send in just a single click. Now let's take a look at the payments agent in action. In this walkthrough, I am a small business owner that invoices with QuickBooks. The main place that I can access the payments agent is on the invoice sales form. If it's not already open, I can click the Intuit Assist icon here on the left. When the payments agent first opens, it shows highlights across all of my invoices along with some helpful suggestions, like jump starting an invoice by uploading a file. The real power comes when I select a customer. Instantly, the insights update showing details like how long I've worked with this customer and their payment history. The suggestions update too, focusing on ways to help me get paid more quickly. For example, here the payments agent recommends adding new payments options. With one click, I can launch a quick step-by-step -step flow that explains why this is recommended and lets me enable those options right away. I'll go ahead and click. So right now I can see that I already accept ACH payments, which typically gets me paid in about 14 days. But the payments agent suggests adding PayPal and Venmo, which could help me get paid even more quickly. Now, these dates and speeds are based on my payment history with this particular customer, if it's available. Otherwise, the payments agent looks at all of my customers or, if needed, typical trends in my industry. I have the choice to enable one, two, or all three of these options or just leave things the way they are but I'll go ahead and click apply, at which point the payment agent shows me a pre-drafted message that I can add to the payment instructions on my invoice to help communicate to my customers these ways to get paid. Now the payments agent is scanning for other ways to potentially improve my cash flow. Here it's identified that I could set up automated invoice reminders for all of my customers. This is a feature that exists in QuickBooks already, but not every business uses it. And so the payments agent brings it, brings it to my attention here. It's recommending the best days to set up, uh, to send the invoice reminders. This is based on internal QuickBooks data. You can see some of the details here. And it also drafts the email messages themselves. I can customize the reminder content, changing the tone, rewriting it, as well as going back to any defaults I might have saved already. Once I'm happy with this content, I can click save and apply to all my customers. If at any point later on, I wanna change that 
message or turn off the invoice reminders, I can do that in my sales settings. At this point in time, the payments agent does not see any other suggestions to recommend right now. So I can go ahead and click go back. Back on this overview page, I can still see those insights. This is where any additional suggestions would show up. And at the bottom, I can see the suggestions that I have already applied. Now let's continue to fill out this invoice and send it so I can see the next key way that the payment agent helps me as a small business invoicer. Go ahead and add a product and click review and send. Now when the next screen loads, what we'll see is that the payment agent has pre-drafted content for me, both the email subject line as well as the email body. I can choose one of the payment agent suggested subject lines or I can select default. I can also edit the message, changing the tone, choosing to rewrite the entire message, or going back to my default. All of the suggestions that the payment agent provides are designed to help me as a small business owner, encourage my customers to open this invoice email more quickly and pay more promptly. Once I'm happy with the message, I can go ahead and click send invoice and it's on its way. Looking ahead, the payments agent team is exploring other ways to help small businesses get paid more quickly. In this video, we're going to see how the payments agent works together with the customer agent to turn early leads from Gmail conversations into estimates. And those estimates are ready to send in just a single click. Here I am on the new leads page. My Gmail account is already connected. So the customer agent scans my conversations, pulls out relevant details, and suggests the next best actions for likely leads. For example, with John Callahan, we are in the negotiation stage. I can see a quick summary of our conversation and the suggested next action is auto filling an estimate. Other next best actions might include reviewing a draft email response or scheduling an appointment. Here, I will click auto fill an estimate. The payments agent opens on the estimate sales form, reviews and pulls in details from the email conversation and pre-populates the estimate with those details. You'll see that the customer name, products and services are all automatically filled in. And with just one click, my estimate is ready. From here, I can review and send this estimate and what would normally take hours is done in seconds. Right now, this is a small beta that works with Gmail, but we anticipate adding Outlook integration and support on mobile devices as well. So that covers everything that I wanted to share for the payments agent. I'm really excited to have it out in product today and hopefully it's helpful for both accountants and their clients. Grace, thank you for being on the show and for that great demo. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In The Know Hub. We'll catch you next time.